Hi, my name is Belinda Roscoe. Today's date is November 4th, 2018, and I'll be doing a how-to video on how to properly label a microscopic image using Microsoft Word. So, you can see that here's my slide, here's my image, and I can't really see the cells that well because they're way, 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 way too small. So why I went ahead and did is I went down here to the icon to zoom in my image. So I'm just gonna keep zooming in, zooming in until I can see the slide clearly. There we go. So now that I'm able to see it, I can now finally label it. So I'll be labeling the um, petos, petiocyte, the nucleus of the petiocyte cell first. So for me, I found that right over here. So for to label it now, um, I went ahead and go to insert and then go to shapes. And then under the lines, there's one that says line arrow. So go ahead and click on that. And then you can click on it and point your arrow to where you want it to go. And you can change your colors from black, blue, or red. I'm gonna go ahead and use black. And then to draw the little icon box on the side to make it more professional, um, I went ahead and go to insert again. And then over here on the right, there's a box that says text box. I go ahead and click on that. And down here at the bottom, it says draw text. So I can go ahead and, and draw my box image of what I wanna type in. And I'm going to go ahead and do the pituocyte. And you can increase your box or change it, change the font in it. And you can move it wherever you like. So I'll move right underneath the arrow. And that's my first cell to label. Now my next one is either the acid, um, basophil or acidophil. So for me, the basophil was more of like a reddish um, tint to it, while the acidophil was more uh, blue-violet almost. So for me, I found the acidophil right over here, right there. So I'll go to ahead and go to insert, shapes, lines, line arrow, go back to my image and draw my arrow where I believe is the acidophil. And I'll go ahead and change it to black. And it's pointing right at it, right there. And we'll go ahead and put our little icon box. So go to insert again, text box, and draw a text box. And you can write it, draw right there. And that will be my acidophil. Uh, now that that looks good, I can move my image, my box to where, right underneath the arrow. And now my last one will be the basophil. So for the basophil, I found it more red, reddish compared to the acidophil. Um, so I found it right here, here, and here. So I'll go ahead and click on my image. Go to insert again, shapes, draw my arrow, and then go ahead and lay pointed right where I believe is the basal fill. And again, go to insert, text box, draw text, draw my box how big I want to type in basal fill. And go ahead and minimize it just a little bit, move it closer to my arrow, uh oh. Oh no! Luckily, I could just do undo. There we go. I don't know what happened, but go ahead and click on my box, get it closer to my arrow, 
don't want to do that again whatever I was um, so now that all the cells are properly labeled now we have my pituocyte cell right over here my basophil which is that reddish um, hint to it and my acetophil right here so now that it's all labeled nicely I'll go ahead back and put the screen back to normal at 100% zoom and now it looks very nice and clean very organized everybody all the arrows are pointing exactly where they need to and that's my how-to video on how to label a microscopic image on Microsoft Word thank you